Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is part 3 of our apps, add-ons, and mod series. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. Before we get started in today's video, I just want to explain what we're going to be going over. Today is all of the mods that I use for all of the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. No, we're not going to go over any of the download and installation of any of these. We're just going to briefly go over all the different mods that I use. So without any further ado, if you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. First up on the list today, we have the Cessna Citation Longitude Flight Dynamic Mod. When you download this, there are two different versions to install, either the on-air version or the non-on-air version. On-air is an external application, it's a career mod, so if you're not using that, make sure to download the appropriate install. The other caveat to using this mod is you already have to own the premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you do, I highly recommend to check out the FDE fix mod over at flightsim.to. Next up on the list today is the Mixmugs TBM 930 Improvement Mod. This is a must have add on if you're a TBM flyer and really improves a lot of the systems inside the TBM. Now the only caveat to downloading this modification at the current time, if you try to download it through flightsim.to, some things may or may not work once you get in the cockpit. So I posted a video down below, check that out and that'll help you through the download and installation process through the GitHub page. TBM 930 Improvement Mod. Next up on the list is the Heavy Division 787 mod. This mod aims to enhance all the systems inside the 787 and the FMC, they really try to bring all of the systems to life here. Now there are three different versions I believe of this available, the stable, the experimental, and the developer version. Through flightsim.to, I think you're only gonna be able to download the stable version, but if you go ahead and download the community downloader, which I've shown in episode one, I'll also post a link down below how to use the community downloader you're able to download the different versions of the 787 Heavy Division mod. So if you're a 787 pilot, I highly recommend to check that out. Next up on the list is the DA40 NGX Improvement mod. This is another fantastic mod for the DA40. It's going to change all of the systems and some of the flight dynamics, I believe, in the DA40. They are constantly updating this and making it better and better every single day. So if you love flying the DA-40 and haven't checked this out, I'll post links down below for flightsim.to, the DA-40 improvement mod. Next up on the list is the G-36 improvement mod. This is going to be a completely new standalone G-36 Bonanza that will show up in your airplane list. They have changed pretty much everything about the aircraft. So I highly recommend to check out the G-36 if you haven't already. G36 Improvement Mod. Next up on the list is the Cessna 208 Improvement Mod. If you're a caravan flyer, then this is a must have add on for the sim. This mod aims to change most of the systems inside the caravan to bring them to a more realistic state. So I highly recommend to check out the 208 Improvement Mod. You can also pick this up in the community downloader. Next up on the list, we have the big brother to the DA-40. It's a DA-62 improvement mod, and this is a fantastic twin engine plane. Again, the team at the DA-62 improvement mod have done a tremendous job enhancing all the systems in the DA-62. There is also documentation with the download mod. I highly recommend to check that out. As we wind down to our last few mods, we get to the Airbus A330-900 by Headwind. This developer has taken off, no pun intended, and has really brought this modification to some new heights. They have merged with the Fly-By-Wire team and have really enhanced all of the computer systems on this aircraft. There is even an external MCDU implementation now. If you don't know how to do that, I'll post links down below in the description for that. The next mod we're going to go over today is the JP Logistics for the Cessna 152. 
This is probably the most real-to-life mod for any of the default aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're able to operate all of these circuit breakers, there is engine smoke, it has starting failures, it is such a fantastic add-on modification. Oh, and it does add the Cap 140 autopilot in this version as well. I highly recommend the JP Logistics C152 mod. Check it out. Alrighty, so we are down to the last but not least modification is the working title CJ4 mod. This modification for the CJ4 really adds so many cool features. I can't go over all of them, but you can check out all those features here on the working title page. The other really neat thing about this mod is they also offer an external MCDU that you can use your own tablet and be able to operate the MCDU inside of this aircraft. All right, folks, that's going to bring us to the end of the video today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you haven't done so, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.